Hello and welcome to another Tyco video. Today I am going to be evaluating the Tyco software on a 2014 MacBook Air, a 2021 MacBook Pro, and a custom built PC with an NVIDIA RTX 2080. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see here, when I go to the system information panel, it indicates that this particular computer has a dual core CPU and only eight gigabytes of system memory. In other words, this is a very low end computer, but nevertheless, it is still able to exercise the vast majority of the functionality of the Tyco software. So to demonstrate this, I am going to take an image that was captured in the year 2021 and compare it with another image captured 30 years prior to that in the year 1991. So I am using the Palomar Sky Survey interface to do this. And what we are looking at here is an image of Bernard's star. This is a star with very high proper motion. And what I am doing is defining two markers, marker one on the first image and marker two on the second image. And what this allows me to do is to determine the distance traveled by this very high proper motion star. So as you can see here, it has come back with a distance of 307 arc seconds. So that is the distance traveled uh, across that 30 year time span. So that is just one example of a feature uh, that works just fine even on a lower end computer. Uh, again, the vast majority of Tyco works just fine uh, and is not too demanding on hardware requirements. For example, creating a light curve, doing period analysis, loading known objects, all of that kind of functionality works just fine, uh, even with a lower end computer. The main exception to that would be the synthetic tracker, where you are attempting to discover a new object, a new asteroid or comet. And the reason for that is that the synthetic tracker is going to take a set of images and stack them in thousands of different possible combinations. So it benefits greatly from GPU acceleration. In other words, the graphics processing unit. So that leads into the second part of the video where I will be comparing uh, different computers to show that indeed uh, for that particular feature of Tyco, it is advantageous to have uh, higher end hardware. Okay, so for this example, I am using the cluster computing module. What this allows me to do is to compare each computer at the same time. In other words, all three computers are processing the same shared data set. And this just makes the comparison relatively straightforward. So as we can see here, the NVIDIA RTX 2080 is in the lead. And that is not terribly surprising considering that that is a very high performance dedicated GPU. Next, we have the 2021 MacBook Pro, which is an Apple Silicon M1 Max computer. And it is actually doing quite well considering that, that is a very power efficient laptop. And finally, we have the 2014 MacBook Air, which as I mentioned earlier, is a dual core system with only eight gigabytes of memory. Okay, so I did want to add just a few graphs here at the end of this video, just to more clearly illustrate the comparison between the different computers. And I've also added in a 2015 MacBook Pro uh, to the list. So as we can see here, the 2014 MacBook Air took 62 seconds to process 1,365 motion vectors. That is compared with only 38 seconds for the 2015 MacBook Pro. And the 2021 MacBook Pro and the RTX 2080 are light years ahead at only four and three seconds respectively. On the second graph here, I have the 2021 MacBook Pro compared with the RTX 2080. The analysis here is with a full search, meaning no limit on speed or position angle. And this amounts to around 121,000 motion vectors for this particular data set. So with a longer search time, uh, we can get a better comparison between the two uh, hardware profiles. So as you can see, it took 338 seconds for the 2021 MacBook Pro compared with 292 seconds for the RTX 2080. And finally, I also wanted to compare Metal versus OpenCL. So when would you choose one over the other? Well, as it turns out, the older Intel-based Mac computers appear to do better with OpenCL 
and the reverse is true with the newer Apple Silicon systems. So as you can see here, both the 2014 and 2015 Intel-based Mac computers uh, seem to do better with OpenCL, whereas the newer 2021 MacBook Pro, which is an Apple Silicon M1 Max computer, seems to do better with Metal. Well, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.